we've reached our very last song for this morning. No. Oh. In, yeah. Is it that song? In no, it's not. It's actually not that song. No, it's not that song. That's for later, Drew. Hey, come before me. Usually we would open with this song, so it's very strange to be closing with it. Uh, it doesn't have a big ending or anything, so you're going to be kind of disappointed when we say that's it. I've heard that a lot. You'll be especially, especially disappointed when you see who's singing. Okay. Yes. And I'll be making up the baritone part out of full cloth. I guess, I, I feel like this song is, it's such a strange choice for a song that I feel like it warrants a little bit of introduction. This is a song that was very popular like six years ago, sort of. And someone decided, for that reason I guess, to arrange it for a cappella, and it became a staple of the spizzering repertoire when singing for small children hungover early on Friday mornings in New Jersey. The children were hungover. Which is, yes, uh, well, I mean, we can't say that for sure, but um, we certainly were. Uh, uh, I you wanted to go, yes. and there's some Anyway, so this song is from the movie Shrek 2. It's pretty much completely forgettable. And it is the song that I that I sang absolutely the most in college. So uh, this this is my shitty legacy that I have to share with you. Um, and I also want to say thanks to everyone for coming so early. And uh you. coming out for the for the interns, there was this block of surprise sound check time that wasn't needed. We needed to uh, repurpose it. Yeah, we were going to just sing to an empty room, but this is better. Accidentally in love. Accidentally in love. Accidentally.